So why would you refer someone for an occupational health assessment? There are several reasons um, and you probably uh, will be familiar with quite a few of these within your team and company right now. So one of them is if someone is on long-term sick leave, before they return to work, you will want to do an occupational health assessment just to make sure that you um, understand their needs, any possible adaptations they might need to work. They might need a phased return to work. So that's going to be a really helpful thing to do so that you know that you're protecting that employee, but also understand um, the expectations for that employee uh, as they come back into work. So that's one of the key things. The second reason you might refer someone for an occupational health assessment is let's say uh, they develop a health condition uh, while they are working. So uh, any new health condition or an old health condition that might start to manifest or get worse. Um, and you're going to need to understand how you're going to need to adapt work um, for that person, especially if they come under the definitions for disability under the, under the Equalities Act. Another reason you might want to refer someone for an assessment is if they are having either frequent absences or bouts of sick leave. Um, this could be due to things that they haven't disclosed to you. It could be because they aren't getting the right support in terms of medical management and they aren't getting the right care. So one of the things that we do in our occupational health assessments is to look at what resources are available to this person to achieve the care that they might need to get better, that they aren't able currently to access and work with them to find ways forward. Another reason, quite a regular reason these days with one in four people um, experiencing in the workplace uh, mental health issues is a referral for an occupational health assessment for a mental health assessment and diagnosis. So our doctors will speak with the individual to understand their symptoms and help them reach a diagnosis and discuss next steps, maybe a psychiatric referral, maybe a referral for psychotherapy, um, but get to the bottom of what might be going on with them. Lastly, a common reason to send someone for an occupational health assessment is if you wanted to assess their fitness to work. So you have doubts as to whether this person is fit to work for any reason and you want to a, an independent opinion uh, from a doctor uh, on, on whether that person is fit to work um, and that will be given uh, in the report at the end of the assessment. Referring to us for an occupational health assessment is really easy. First step, drop us an email. We'll then arrange a quick call um, to gather some information. After that, we'll send you a referral form uh, to give us more detail um, and any information you think would be helpful. After that, an appointment will be made and a report will be issued and any follow-up conversations that we need to have, we will also have.